Hello YouTube, Moose Cow here, continuing Operation Ice Cream, round one. It's U.S. and China's turn. On with the show. U.S. has already spent four IPCs on tech. U.S. will be buying one battleship, three destroyers, and one artillery. Well, China, you guessed it, four infantry. So, U.S. is still not at war. Not having a total duplicate of Operation Iceberg. So, U.S. is still not at war, so I can only do what I can do. So anyway, this bomber, this fighter, these three mech, and yeah, this tank, and that infantry. All of this will migrate over to West US. Okay. A little messy. Let me see if I can clean this up just a little bit. Okay. So those guys are moving over there. We got this Navy here. It's gonna go back to 10. The two fighters on Hawaii will go back to Western US. Over here in the Philippines, the doomed Philippines, the fighter will fly to Guam. And the two naval units, the sub and destroyer, will go to Sea Zone 37 to meet up with the British. Let's see. I want to do that. They could move three. One, two, three. Mm, no, they're going to go here. They're going to they're stay here. Okay. And that about does it for U.S. movement. And again, as I am not at war, so placement. Two destroyers are going to go to Sea Zone 101. Destroyer, battleship, and artillery will go into West U.S. respectively and Sea Zone 110. Or sorry, 10, just Sea Zone 10. Okay. So, not at war, so they still collect 52 IPCs, which is all of that. Um, quick disposition for US, we got two infantry on Hawaii, Hawaiian Islands, we got the fighter in Guam, we got two infantry in Philippines, we got a sub-destroyer in Season 37, we got a stock carrier with a fighter and tactical, we have, uh, in Season 10, we have a sub, we have two transports, I'll put those together, we got two transports, two battleships, two cruisers, one submarine, three destroyers, fighter tactical on the carrier. We got three fighters on West US. We have three infantry. We have four mechanized infantry. We have one tank. We have three infantry, two AAA, two artillery, strategic bomber, three fighters. I'm pretty sure I've duplicated some stuff, but you know. You get the point. Uh, sub and destroyer there. I think I already covered that. Sorry. Um, and we have in Eastern US, we have destroyer, two destroyers, and one cruiser and one transport in Season 101. And we have two AAA and infantry and artillery in East US. And we have the fighter on Guam, if I missed him or not. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, <clears throat> so they get 52 IPCs. China, having 12, IP 12 IPCs, has the four infantry. They're going to do one attack, and that is going to be two cavalry from Shenzi attacking Yunnan, and the fighter from Sejuan attacking Yunnan, as well as two infantry from. Um, I'll do two infantry from Sejuan. Okay. The flying tiger will have three movement left, etc. Okay. So, 
we got a three and two twos and two ones against three twos. All right, we got in Yunnan there is a artillery and two Japanese infantry. Okay, well we got one. Is rebuttal. One for one. All right, lose an infantry and he'll lose an infantry. Try that over there. Okay, so one infantry out. He's got one infantry out. Okay, round two. Nice! Overkill, but it's still done. Four hits for two. There's rebuttal. Nothing! Awesome, okay. Yeah. Well, I should have taken a cavalry then, I guess. But anyway, that is back into Chinese property. China goes up one to ten. Japan goes down one to twenty-eight. Uh, Non-combat, Flying Tiger goes back to Shejuan. Infantry and cavalry from Shenzi to Shejuan. Two infantry from Shenzi down, oh sorry, from Suyen down to Shenzi. And then two infantry from Kuai Chao to um, one to Shenzi. And one to, or sorry, one to Shejuan, one to Shenzi. The four new units, I'm going to put them down in, let's see, I'll put them all in Shejuan. So, China gets their six IPCs for controlling the Burma Road, and they're at 10 on the track record. So, China has healthy 16 IPCs to spend for the next round. It is now UK's turn, round one. So that does it. Things are, as always with BBR, it's shaping up to be a unique game. Very interesting. Interesting moves in positions for um, Japan. We've got an interesting ru early Russia push with Germany. And uh, yet we have yet to see what will happen with Italy and UK. So stay tuned. Anyway, until next time, hopefully I can roll the dice better.